Hello guys, it's Mashtag here. Today I'm gonna show you another ready-to-go disk image featuring simple menu. This time for the RG350. The image comes with many pre-installed ROMs and is mainly focused on handhelds or consoles. Beside the games for various emulators, it also comes with a big bunch of ported games for this device. And the best, the image will also allow you to make use of the HDMI out feature that I will show you later in the video. I will guide you through all the necessary steps to get this image right onto your RG350 and show you some of the games that come along with this image so you can get an impression of what you can expect from it. Enjoy! Big thanks go out again to Matthew Mackin, alias Lost Youth Gamer, for this great image and his effort to make and share it with us. Thanks a lot in the name of the community. Now let's start and download the image file itself. I've put you a link to download the image into the video description. This time the image is more download friendly since it's only 8GB and will fit to a 60GB SD card or bigger. So when you click on the link, it will take you to a remote server where you'll find the lostyouthgamer.raw file. Left click on it to download the file to your PC. I will fast forward the process and see you back when the download has complete. Now that the download is done, switch over to your download folder, find the lostyouthgamer.raw file, right click on it and extract its content. At the end, you should have a lostyouthgamer.img file. That's the actual image file that we're now gonna flash to our SD card. So take your microSD card and connect it to your PC. With the SD card connected to your PC, we can now start Win32 Disk Imager. By the way, I have links to all required tools in the video description in case you don't have them installed yet. Now that Win32 Disk Imager has started, we need to choose the drive letter of our micro SD card in the top right corner of the tool. For my SD card it's G, so I choose G from the list. Please double check that you choose the right drive here, because all data on it will be lost when we finally flash the image to it. Next, we choose the image file by clicking on the folder button over here. Switch over to your download folder and select the lostyouthgamer.img file. Now that everything is set up, you can click on the right button, confirm the next dialog and the flash process will start. This took me around 15 minutes to complete, so I will fast forward this step here. After the image was successfully written, you can quit Win32 Disk Imager and remove your SD card safely. Now we can open up the RG350 and install our newly created micro SD card. Therefore, we need to unscrew the four screws on the back side of the device. I used a small cross screwdriver like this to do the job for me. Be careful when you remove the back cover since your battery might still be attached to it. I already removed it on my device when I installed a wireless charging pad to it. If you're interested in installing the same thing to your device, check out my video in the info card up here or take a look into the video description. You'll find the microSD card slot in the top left corner of your device. Gently move the battery aside to access the slot and release the current SD card by slipping it out with your finger. Now we can take our new microSD card and push it back into the microSD card slot. And we're done. Take the back cover and push it back onto your device until all clips rest in. After that you can tighten the four screws again and the job is done. Now it's time to turn the device on and check if everything went fine. On the first time the device takes a little longer to start up, so please be patient and wait until simple menu shows up.
you can exit an emulator section by pressing the B button and use the D-pad to navigate through all available sections such as consoles, handhelds, home computers, apps and games and arcades. Pressing the A button brings you right into a section where you can either choose your game from the current system using the D-pad or use the shoulder buttons left and right to navigate through the available emulators of this section. As you can see, all ROMs of the systems that come along with this image are already set up with box art for you. So it's much easier to identify your favorite game when you scroll through the list. Let's hook it onto a TV to check out the HDMI out feature and play some games. To activate the HDMI output, you just need to press the start button and enter the settings. Scroll down to the HDMI entry and use the D-pad left right button to set it to yes. After that, you can press the start button again and the output will be redirected to the HDMI out port. You can now take your HDMI cable and plug it into your RG350. Remember, you need a HDMI to mini HDMI adapter to do this. I'll do the same here on my setup to get connected to the capture card of my PC. Now that we're connected, let's play some games on a big screen and start with some arcade classics. If the audio sounds distorted like here, you need to fix this in the emulator settings. So in this case, enter the sound menu and set the sound quality to 44 kHz. After this, the sound in your game should be fine. The sound and the video output on the HDMI out port worked perfectly and I had no issues with screen tearing or anything similar. You might be surprised about the big set of 362 Atari games that includes a lot of classics. If you don't like the full screen stretched image, you can switch over to the emulator options and change the video settings to a spec ratio or original. 
This will add some black bars to the two sides of the screen, but lets you play your favorite games at the original size. Who of you guys played The Lost Vikings? I love this little puzzle adventure game. It just feels great to have it back in my pocket. At the moment this is the game I try to beat again for like the hundredth time. Now last but not least, I'd like to show you a few ported games on this device. I have to say, all ported games I've tested so far work perfectly fine and are really fun to play on the RT350. Since I recorded the output to my capture card in parallel, I had to fight with some input lag that I didn't recognize when I was connected directly to my monitor. Especially in Arkanoid, it was pretty hard to play with this lag. The goal of this image is mainly to be small and lightweight, so you can easily download and apply it to even a 16GB microSD card. This was requested by many of you guys from my last ready to go disk image videos. 
It still comes with many pre-installed systems, ROMs and games that you can expand on your own if you like. As a first step, you can plug your RG350 with this version to your PC and use any FTP client to make a connection to it. There, you just need to navigate over to a folder called Media, Data, ROMs and put your favorite ROMs into the associated system folder to make it appear at the systems in simple menu. If you're interested in a similar image for the RG350M, check out the info card up here or take a look into the video description for the link. I also plan to make a second part of this video where I show you a bigger image with more games on it and a big bunch of themes to customize the look and feel of Simple Menu. If you like to stay tuned with me, feel free to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you get informed when a new video comes up. If you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. I really appreciate it as a motivation to make more videos like this. So that's it for today. I thank you guys for watching, have a great day and see you again in my next video. Bye!